Hello everyone and welcome back to round 10 of the Nations Cup. Uh, it's a really, really brutal attacking game, so uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. It's Vladislav Artemiev, uh, also known as Chuck Norris versus uh, versus uh, Vidit Santos Gujarati, uh, who, who is not having the greatest tournament so far, uh, but uh, well, well, we'll just see what happens in this game. And before we check out uh, the, the actual game, I do have uh, two very short announcements. Uh, first one is... Uh, Huga dropped uh, another chess song uh, called You Better Resign, so uh, if you're interested in checking it out and if you enjoy her songs, do check it out. The link will be the first thing you see in the description below. And also, if you like uh, to see weird stuff, um, I do suggest you also check out the second link in the description below. It features some uh, really weird images like, like myself jumping around on a horsey and, and uh, well, some other very weird stuff. Uh, it, it's just weird, but uh, I, I kind of enjoyed it, so do check it out if you're also interested in, in weird stuff. That being said, uh, let's check out the game. Uh, Artemiev with the white pieces opens with d4. Uh, we have knight to f6, knight f3, and d5. And here Artemiev goes for bishop to g5, uh, the tore attack. Uh, we have knight to e4, immediately challenging the bishop. We have bishop back to h4 and the queen to d6 now. Uh, getting away from this pin, you will be able to push e6, e5 in the future, but also uh, it's a, it's an own line where the queen comes to, uh, comes to h6. So knight b to d2, now uh, with ideas of trading knight, and now queen to h6, preventing this, uh, because if you trade uh, right away, captures, captures, then your knight who is defending the bishop is under attack, and you will lose one of these pieces. So after queen h6, we have queen to c1, now again introducing the threat of, of trading pieces because first you are going to trade the queens and then it's not a problem since your bishop will not be under attack you'll be able to move your f3 knight. So here g5 by Vidit uh, and now uh, knight captures on e4. Uh, so grabbing that knight uh, we have d captures on e4 and now bishop captures on g5 first grabbing a pawn queen to h5 and now knight back to g1. Uh, so here uh, we have uh, the, the situation where white was forced uh, to, to retreat a knight back, uh, but uh, black also has uh, only a queen developed, so it's a, it's a really weird uh, situation. Uh, we have bishop to g7, just continuing development, attacking the d4 pawn, and c3 now. And the position has been reached before, uh, e5 is a known move in the position, striking the center immediately, uh, but Vidit decides to go for c5, uh, which again uh, just challenges the center, uh, but with the c pawn. Uh, and it is already as of move 10 that we have a completely new game. So we have bishop back to d2, uh, and now knight to c6, uh, putting more pressure uh, to, the, to the d4 pawn. If you want to grab it right away, it's not really possible since queen captures on c8 would be checkmate, uh, just if anyone missed that. So knight to c6, putting more pressure to d4, and now e3, uh, just strengthening the center. We have bishop to g4, uh, and now comes knight to e2. Continuing development, white still has to figure out how he will go about it. Will he go some g3, bishop g2, or maybe knight g3, uh, attack the queen, followed by bishop e2 by castles. But it's uh, it's not at all clear, uh, since uh, black does have a semi-open g file for his rook, if white is eager to castle uh, king side. So here, Vidit castles queen side. Uh, which is very nice, puts his rook on the d-file, uh, white king still being in the center. Uh, but now uh, Artemiev uh, starts uh, starts a very, very interesting attack. He first goes b4. And okay, obviously you're threatening to pick up the, the c5 pawn, it's uh, defended, it's already attacked twice. So here c captures on b4. Uh, c captures on d4 is also possible, but Vidit decides for c captures on b4. We have c captures on b4, and now just king to b8. Uh, so the knight can move, you don't want to... Uh, keep her king on the same file as the queen. Uh, and now uh, white still has to figure out how to continue development. You, you can still go knight to g3, maybe play bishop e2, bishop somewhere, then maybe castle. But it is a bit dangerous since uh, black does have a semi-open g file. So here uh, Artemiev plays the most interesting b5. And it's... Uh, it's not a pawn you can uh, refuse, since the knight has no squares. The bishop slices all the way here, the pawn covers e5, all of these squares are covered, so the knight doesn't have a retreat square, so you do have to capture it. So Vidit captures the pawn, and now rook to b1, using this uh, pawn sacrifice to, uh, to start uh, an attack, as the black queen is now under attack. So queen d5, and now knight to c3, so grabbing yet another tempo uh, with an attack on the queen. 
queen to e6 and now knight to a4 going for c5 which will uh, create a double attack on the queen and on the b7 pawn. So here Vidi decided to go king to a8 not to have his king on the same file as the rook but this doesn't work. So feel free to pause the video here and try to find why it doesn't work uh, while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on spotting the D fork uh, that uh, <clears throat> uh, lurks in the position. And for those of you that uh, want to enjoy the show, uh, it's of course Rook captures on B7. Now the point is, if King captures, you again have the fork, Knight to C5 check, picks up the Queen. Uh, and if you don't, you have to play something else. So here Vidit tried Queen to D6, getting the Queen out of, uh, out of fork's reach. Uh, but now still knight to c5. So now it's uh, very hard for, for black to find a move. Uh, ideas like bishop to c8 come to mind to, to kick away the, the rook from the active b7 square. Uh, but here Vida decided that uh, since Artemio already sacrificed material, he wants to sacrifice back and start an attack of his own. White King still being in the center, it, it does make sense. But here, uh, there's another problem. Uh, Artemiev doesn't recapture because there is a forced checkmate in six moves in the position. So once again, feel free to for, uh, pause the video and try to find uh, this forced mating sequence. Uh, well, I'll give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, uh, congratulations as you are also awarded a Morphe head. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's Rook captures on a7. And again, it's not uh, not a, a rook sacrifice you can decline. For example, if you go rook to b8, just queen b2 or queen b1 wins the game on the spot. King king goes somewhere and uh, queen b7 is checkmate. Uh, so Vidit, of course, had to capture the rook, but now it's queen a3 check. Uh, we have king to b6, now comes queen to b4 check. King to c6, and now, of course, bring the king deeper into the position. Queen to b7 check, just drive the king down the board. We have king captures on c5, and now, of course, uh, bishop to b4 check, uh, which is, uh, which is in fact, checkmate as the light square bishop prevents the king from going to, uh, to c4. The queen covers these squares, so uh, the king has no squares, and it's checkmate. And it's really, really just a remarkable position. I, I really enjoy checkmates where, where the bishops uh, do all the, all the slicing, and, uh, well, the, the king is on c5, so uh, an extremely <laughs> beautifully played game by, by Artemiev. Uh, but uh, you know, good, good for Vidit too to, uh, to, to to try and play uh, in, in great style, as it, it always takes two to create uh, to create a great game. So yeah, uh, I do award uh, Artemi of the Morphe head. There we go. As this is this is quite a beauty, uh, quite an attacking game. So I do I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and like I said, do check out uh, Huga's video, it will be the first link in the description below, and do check out the, the weird video where I jump around on a horsey, it will be the second link in the description below. So yeah, uh, that's uh, the game from round 10 of the Nations Cup, uh, we're gonna check out some other games, uh, and also we have the Super Final starting today, so we're gonna check out some uh, games, games from that as well. So yeah, uh, I would like to thank uh, Omar al Shali, uh, Janis uh, uh, Jakobsen, uh, Dragos Dragomir, Charles Marshall, and Chris uh, Karskadan for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot, I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon, continuing the coverage of the Nations Cup, and, uh, well, we are continuing some, uh, some other sagas w when it finishes. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you all, I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.